Hey folks, welcome uh, to Mike McFeely's McFeely Minute here on KFGO.com. Bison basketball team, the men, they are in the Summit League basketball tournament on Sunday down in Sioux Falls. That's their first round game against Western Illinois. How it comes out, we'll find out on Sunday, uh, but we'll find out if the Bison win or lose. Here's the key. Here's I, I've been hearing this a lot lately around the Bison sports arena and out on the street, if you will, from Bison basketball fans. You're saying, you know, Saul Phillips, the head coach, he hasn't done anything. He hasn't done anything as the head coach. The team that he got to the NCAA was all of Tim Miles' team. The four seasons since Saul's been the head coach, they haven't even won a game in the Summit League tournament. Isn't this guy kind of getting to the end of his rope? He doesn't he need to win some games here in the postseason so that Saul Phillips can stick around, or shouldn't we find somebody else? Settle down. <laughs> Settle down, folks. Saul Phillips is doing, he's doing just fine, okay? I mean, it's been a couple of years, obviously, since Ben Woodside and Brett Winkleman and, and Mike Nelson, Lucas Mormon led NDSU to the uh, NCAA championship uh, tournament down in the Twin Cities. That was a great year. It set the bar really high, but Saul is doing just fine. His three years of his own teams, it's been a steady improvement. And this year's team, they won 17 games going into the, the Summit League tournament. They're getting better. This recruiting class that he has on the floor right now is his best recruiting class ever. Give the team that's on the floor Sunday down in Sioux Falls another year or two. You're going to see 20 wins out of this Bison program before it's done. You're going to see a serious run at the Summit League tournament before this whole thing is done. Remember, what Woodside and Winkleman and those guys did, that's not the norm for any team in the Summit League ever. It, it, usually it's, you know, the Oral Roberts and some of these other teams, they're always up there and there's other teams that kind of weave in and out having good years. Uh, NDSU's team, they'll be fine. Saul is fine. The program's fine. Give this team, like I said, a couple years, and NDSU will be making another run at the NCAA tournament. And then that excitement can be back in the Bison Sports Arena and back in the Fargo-Moorhead area. Folks, this has been another McFeely Minute at KFGO.com. Tune in each weekday, 2 to 5 p.m. on the Mighty 790 KFGO to hear more of this scintillating commentary.